What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, King, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Intermission. On this episode today, we're going to talk about how you could tell a real ice cream sneaker boutique from a fake one. Now, I was a little reluctant to do this episode because, like I said, I'm going to kind of focus on more of my uh, collection as a whole rather than just the ice cream shoes. But I felt maybe it's my duty as the king to explain to people who are still collecting ice cream what is a fake boutique look like and how you could tell the difference between that of a real boutique. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy because you've entered another episode of... All right, so quick disclaimer. Um, what I'm gonna give you is my opinion on exactly what I've found out through collecting ice cream for all these years. Now, I know a lot of people will have their own opinion on what they say is real, what they deem is fake. So you're just going off of what I have collected and what I've seen. And hopefully you'll take that as, uh, as gold because I've been collecting for a long time and uh, I don't really care what anybody else says. So uh, let's do this right now. So before we jump into the shoe, I just wanted to list a couple things. Uh, if your ice cream does not have a number, that does not mean it's fake. If your ice cream has different patterns on the left shoe versus the right or the same patterns, that does not mean it's fake. Anyway, so basically, there's a couple of misconceptions of ice cream. One of those, if it doesn't have a number, it's fake. Uh, you know, if the patterns match or they mismatch, it's fake. We're gonna just stop all that right away. Uh, for someone who has over a thousand ice creams, I've seen it all, all right? And we're gonna start off the episode like this. If you have these ice creams right now, they are fake. Now, what is my opinion? My opinion is this, wear what you wanna wear. I don't care what you wear. I don't care if the shoe is fake. I don't care if it's phony. I don't care if it's macaroni Tony. I don't care, right? To me, it doesn't mean anything. But there are collectors out there who really wanna know the difference. So that's why I'm doing this. But I could care less if you're wearing a fake shoe. I could care less if you're wearing a plastic shoe. I don't care if you're wearing no shoes. It doesn't affect me at all, right? And it shouldn't affect you either. Wear what you wanna wear. But I just had to just get that out the way and let people know where I stand with that. The thing is, back in the day, the fakes were so bad, you could spot it from a mile away. I mean, Stevie Wonder can tell you what a fake is. Uh, so with that being said, now let's really jump into it. So I have uh, five pairs of shoes here. Uh, I have a fake pair of the small dollars and diamonds, a real pair. I have a real pair of beepers, a fake pair, and I just have a used pair of Colette's, and I'll uh, tie this into this whole thing from the beginning. All right, so a lot of the reviews I saw, they always kind of just explained it to you as if you were there. Like, well, if the leather feels bad, but I mean, we can't feel the leather through the video, so I'm gonna tell you other things to look for. The first dead giveaway is going to be the inside of the back ankle. If you're getting this chipping effect on the back ankle, if you're getting that, I said this is flaking off, you should say flaking actually. So if the back part of your shoe is flaking, it is not an authentic pair. So a lot of people are gonna say, you know, King, what if the shoe is uh, brand new? How can we tell if nobody's worn it, it's not gonna flake? The next sign that I look for is gonna be the bottom of the shoe. If you buy a new pair of shoes, most of the time it should look like this. Here's a real pair, it should look something like that. Now, not everyone is gonna have a shoe that doesn't have oxidation on it. All right, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm showing you two brand new pairs of ice cream. Now one, which is the dice flavor, has a little bit of oxidation on the bottom. So you will see that on uh, some brand new pairs. And here is the beeper, which has no oxidation. Uh, oxidation on ice creams are very, very, very common, so it's nothing to freak out about. But if it is completely oxidized, brand new, then that's another giveaway that you're dealing with a shoe that is not legit. 
So here is the fake pair of the small dollars and diamonds. They are worn and you can see how oxidized uh, the bottom is. On the flip side, I'm going to take a legit pair of the Colettes that are worn as well. And you can see they're still brown, but they're not as brown as the small thousand diamonds. And I'm going to do a comparison so you can see the difference between the two. Yeah. Will it come with a number? Yes, a fake ice cream shoe will come with a number, okay? It will come with a hang tag, it'll come with a spoon. Now, a lot of people will say, if both pairs match, then it's fake. They should be different. And that is not always true. I'm telling you that right now. I have ice creams where both patterns are different, both are the same, that has nothing to do with it being real or fake. When you have as many as I do, you see that a lot. So don't use the, the, uh, the patterns to tell if it's real or fake. If it matches up or if it doesn't match up, it doesn't matter. Now, the third way is a little tricky, and this is gonna be if you're in person. The first thing you're gonna wanna look at is gonna be the toe box. This is normally what you can look for, even if you don't have something to compare it to. Uh, the toe box is the part that I look at on a fake pair. Uh, I would say that the toe box is gonna be a little bit more wider than you have with an, uh, a real pair. So you can see this one is, is gonna be a little bit slim, slim, and this one is a little bit bigger. This one's gonna be a little bit bigger, pause. Another place you can kinda look is gonna be the size of the shoe. On the midsole of the real ice cream, all right, it's gonna be a little bit bigger from the bottom to the top. On the fake pair, you're gonna have maybe some yellowing, like as you can see here. If not, you can tell because the midsole is gonna be a little bit thinner than it is on the real pair. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, so you can kinda see that these midsoles are a little bit bigger than the ones that are fake. They're just a little bit smaller. All right, this one is not yellowing, and this one is. So you're not gonna get yellowing all the time, but that's also a dead giveaway. Also, the leather of the shoe, now you can't tell this in the video, but the leather of the shoe is totally different. You can almost feel it and tell that it is not real. So you're gonna have a little bit more padding on the side of the shoe versus a fake pair where it is not as much. It's a little bit shinier on the side of the shoe. Now I'm trying to do this in a way where you don't have to compare because a lot of the times, if you're buying an ice cream for the first time, you have nothing to compare it to. So that's why when you see some of these videos, they'll show you a real versus fake, but if you don't have a real pair, you don't know what to look for. All right, and lastly, I wanna focus on the box. So here is what a box is supposed to look like. You will have a corresponding flavor to whatever flavor that you're buying. The ice cream box should be round. It should not be as damaged, but like I said before, sometimes they can be damaged. If you're buying a boutique with a square box, it's fake. The only square box that exists are the new ice creams that came out maybe two or three years ago. So here is the tongue on the ice cream, not too much of a difference. But like I said, if you don't have anything to compare it to, we'll just do this one. If you see something beside this, and I'm gonna try to find some pictures. If you see something beside just the ice cream logo, sometimes you'll have the cone man on the ice cream logo. It is not real. So thank you again for uh, tuning in to another episode of The Intermission. I hope I didn't really confuse anybody. I highly suggest you take a look at the earlier YouTube video I did. It will explain the differences between the friends and family versus samples, and maybe it'll help tie into what I was talking about before. Uh, also guys, please make sure you like and subscribe as usual, and I'm gonna thank everybody for coming back again. My name is King, and I go by King of Creams on Instagram. Also, I'm gonna leave a link to the video I was talking about down below where you guys can check it out. Hope you do that. Hope that kind of clarified some of the uh, misconceptions of ice cream. Other than that, hope everyone's having a blessed day. Thank you guys so much. Peace. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in to the intermission. Check out this video that I'm leaving right now. It'll explain a little bit of the differences of the friends and family versus samples. And you can click on that right now. Peace.